Don't pick your skin, big bandage. Hey guys, it's my face story here. Welcome back to the Acne Channel. Today I am so excited because we are testing out a different way to treat acne scars. As most of you guys know, I freaking love microneedling. I use the Banish starter kit, like it is my baby. I just washed my face, clean face, obviously nothing on. And today what we are testing out is the PMD device, personal microderm. And I haven't well, I did open it because I have to take pictures, but I haven't plugged it in, haven't tried it yet, like nothing like that. So I'm really excited to try it first time on camera with you guys, see how it feels, tell you about my experience, all that jazz, all that good stuff. So first, I guess we should talk about the PMD a little bit. What the PMD is, is a personal microdermabrasion. If you guys don't know what microdermabrasion is, it basically is a machine that takes off the top layer of your skin, revealing newer, younger, healthier looking skin. Taking off this top layer allows for skin cells to regenerate more quickly and then obviously you're reducing fine lines, acne, acne scarring, things like that. Apparently you are allowed to use microderm. This is the machine, the PMD, as you can see. You are allowed to use it on acne. Um, I am terrified. <laughs> I'm not used to using things that are more abrasive on my acne. You know, with the Vanisher, I always go around any active acne because I don't want to spread it with this. I have watched YouTube videos, I read the instructions. It says that you can use it on acne. So, uh, we are going to try it and see what happens. Basically, this kit comes with the personal microderm comes with this head that you, oh, this is a different head. This is for the body, then this is for the face. So these can like screw on and off. As you can see, it comes with three heads, three for the face and three for the body. And each are a different color depending on the severity or intensity that you want to use. So these are the body heads, they're a little bit bigger. There's blue, gray, and green, and According to the chart, gray is very sensitive, blue is sensitive, and green is moderate. So they kind of want you to start out, you know, with the least amount of intensity and work your way up. I mean, I think that makes the most sense. And then the face discs are way smaller. I probably won't be using the body disc because I don't have any body acne. Um, I could maybe use it on my hands. I want to give myself some uh, nice looking hands or something. These are the face discs. And they look like this, super tiny, and the same thing. Ultra sensitive for the gray, sensitive for the blue, and moderate for the green. So we'll start out with the ultra sensitive, which is the gray. And it comes with the part that you have to plug into the wall. And then you plug it into the device and just turn it on. And I, again, have watched like YouTube videos, tutorials, and it does say on this card instructions on how to use it, so I do know how to use it. It is just kind of terrifying. Um, it basically sucks against your face, sucks up to the titanium dioxide crystals, and then that sloughs away dead skin, revealing newer skin. And after you use the treatment, you also want to make sure that you are using like a good moisturizing facial cream. I will be using, of course, the Banish Vitamin C Cream, which is pretty sure 20% vitamin C, which is gonna be great for cell renewal, regrowth, and helping to additionally fade hyperpigmentation. So yeah, I've seen like kind of both ways. People either say PMD really, really works or PMD does nothing, or that PMD actually like burn their face or scar their face. So again, I'm kind of like hesitant, but we're gonna do it for the sake of beauty because that's what we do, right? You twist off this green cap. Oh, it comes with a starter one. So what is the white? The white is ultra sensitive. So maybe I'll actually start with the one that's already on here, which is the ultra sensitive one, because my skin is pretty sensitive. So there should be a gap in between. You see that? The gap and then the disc. And then that'll suction it up in there. I also know that um, the more intense discs that you use, the better results you're going to get, but you don't want to start with the most intense discs. You definitely want to work your way up to get to that point. So, this plugs into this dude out here. Did they give me the wrong charger? Oh, okay, it goes. It goes. Um, one more thing, so with a personal microderm, this kit was, I think, 149, either 149 or $159. From researching around, I was looking at different spas and places to get microdermabrasion done, and the average cost 
can be anywhere from like the cheapest I found was like 60 bucks for one treatment to $300 for one treatment. So it just really depends, but 60 bucks for one treatment, you use this three times, you already have your use out of it. Plus these discs, you can use up to four times. So that's about a month if you're using it once a week, which is recommended. You definitely, I feel like this is more bang for your buck. Plus you don't have to like go anywhere if you're kind of antisocial like me. Just kidding, I'm not that antisocial. But you don't have to go anywhere. You can do it from the comfort of your own home, which I think is also awesome. And, 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 the disc to uh, buy like another box of them that comes with multiple discs is only $15. So I'm not sure how many discs come in it. I think it's like four or five new ones for $15. I kind of think this is a pretty dang good investment. And yeah, we're just gonna do it, wing it kind of, and see what happens. And then I think probably at the end of the week we will do an after shot of my skin to see if it improved at all. Here is like the before. So this is all hyperpigmentation. This is all hyperpigmentation. The only spot I have right now is right here, which has been steadily going away, steadily decreasing in size and just kind of feeling like more flat. I haven't been messing with it at all. I'll probably honestly do my chin last because that does sketch me out about spreading bacteria. Um, probably do this side, this side, forehead, and then my chin last. It also comes with this card that shows you exactly how you should be moving. So I'm gonna try to do it like this. And I don't have a mirror to look into, so I might look into my phone a little bit while I'm doing it just to make sure that I'm not going over the same spot twice. That's another thing. Um, you ne never want to go over the same spot twice, you just want to do it once. Even if you feel like you missed a section, don't go back over it because it will irritate your skin even more. And then I feel like that's how people get kind of these burns and marks and abrasions. So yeah, I was really interested in doing this review because I've seen a lot of people review this on YouTube and have amazing results. but. The reviews are also sponsored, which I know it can be hard to know if someone is like actually giving an honest review or not. I'm going to say this is not a sponsored review. Not sponsored at all. Um, this is 100% my own thoughts and opinions on this little doodadder. And yeah, let's do the thing. So I'm going to plug it in. Well, I'm going to tie my hair back first. And you also want to make sure that your face is thoroughly cleansed and dried completely. And some of the videos I saw, people's skin literally flaked off. So I don't know if that's going to happen to me or not. Said so if you have oily skin, to not expect that to happen. So we will see. Okay, so it's plugged in. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. We got this, guys. We got this. Okay. So. Uh, oh, yeah. So I can't actually. Because you want to pull your skin taut while you're doing it. So, how am I gonna look at myself while I'm doing this? That is the ultimate question. All right, you guys. So we're going to do the dang thing and we're going to go in these motions on this card right here. Let's do it. Oh my God. Ah! I think I like left it in the spot too long. Dude, this is weird. Be 
And now the lip. And I didn't really get around here, so I'm gonna try to get closer to that. And now I'm gonna get down here. <gasps> so scary. Uh, I didn't really like how that felt. Oh god. Okay, so honestly, like I know I missed some spots. Oh, I can see my face is red. I'm gonna put on my cream right now. Even though I know I missed spots, like it's super hard for me not to go back over because. I don't know, I feel like with the banisher, like, you know, you can roll back and forth in the same time, like four times, so this was kind of, oh, It does feel like the texture feels smoother and better. Wow, actually, that feels really nice. That feels pretty damn good. So, from what I've read, the redness should die down and like, about an hour or less. Um, and you can keep doing like your normal everyday activities. I think next time with my forehead, I don't need to hold the skin tight because my forehead skin is already really tight. I couldn't like get good enough of suction right there. So next time I'll probably just leave that and do it. But yeah, so here's my skin after. And we will see at the end of the week how my skin looks, you guys. I'm super excited. This video also qualifies for a Banish Kit giveaway. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe to the Acne channel, and then you also have to answer. All right, you guys, I am back. My thoughts on the PMD, I really do think it worked well, and I think it helped my skin feel like nice and fresh and glowy and just really really soft like I was really surprised to be honest um, and as you can see like that breakout I had going on is pretty much gone now which is kind of crazy that was the area I went over with the tool that I was kind of scared to go over again it's been six days so maybe it naturally went away but I feel like it definitely helped the only thing the only complaint I guess I have is I have these two small clogged pores and I think going over it with the tool, I'm not sure if it irritated it or if it's helping, helping, helping to get out the bacteria. Um, but it did get like a little bit irritated and inflamed. But other than that, my skin looks really, really nice. And I'm super happy because it's also around that time of the month, usually when my face freaks out and it doesn't seem so freaky. So yeah, um, I definitely recommend it. I'm going to keep using the PMD. I really, really do like it. I think it's a good investment and I think that it does what it says it does. It still feels pretty soft, so it's kind of crazy. I didn't really think it was like it does. Um, yeah. These go. I mean, this one I did kind of pick out to maybe build up my own doing. Could have been this one. Um, it might just be getting this stuff out. Oh, okay. That's probably not sanitary. Where'd you go? I'm a mess. Ah! There's a